it's still surreal, you know, to pull up and you see the, the Packers sign and stuff. And every time I come down and I look at the scoreboard and, and to see us say home with the Packers and, and knowing that, you know, I'm the person to come in here and lead the program from now on, it's, it's still surreal. It's getting big, man. We've got a big tradition there. When you talk about Pinellas County, you know, they, they Largo is, is, is the name that comes up. These kids were pushed at Largo High School by our, by our coaching staff. And, you know, those, those kids that are, that are that made the NFL, that were special players, you know, they probably would have made it another place. But I think being at Largo was, was special for them, and I think it helped them get there. I've been preparing for this since I left here. So it, it's no pressure. It's, I'm coming in here to be the best football coach that Marcus Passel can be. Just a little bit of, about the practice routine. We're gonna be on the field at four. Not 401, not 405, at four. You need to leave this locker room at 350 because your coaches might have some pre-practice stuff that you need to do. Does everybody understand that? Set, go. Go. Set, go. Look, both of them jammed up. Y'all will learn, it's the first day. We'll take the training wheels off sooner or later. Who's here, who's here? That's you, middle linebacker. There you go. Punch it, DeVecchio. You can't be nice out here. Run. Some of y'all release inside, and I'm telling you, this is where I made my money at. Y'all used to see me and Raheem last year. He would take his step in, and I would just wash his butt all the way across the field. Oh, let's go, let's go. They're not gonna come at this man. This man in the newspaper. This man making a name for himself. Who they gonna come at? You. You can't be lazy. One day down. They got nine more to go to his game week. You gotta get better every day. Even as a coach, I'm, I prepare like I'm going to step on that field to go to battle. Um, so as a coach, that's. I can say I will be a very intense coach. I will be a very detailed coach. I will prepare as if I was going to step on the field and play the game. Other than that, let's bring it up. Begin with the end in mind. Helmets off. We got, fa we got family on three. They need to hear you over there at Largo Middle. Hey, loud and proud, boys. One, two, three. Years ago, we talked and said, Marcus, you know, one day I might be stepping down and I said, Coach, this is the job I want. This is the only job that I want. And that's what he told me and it worked out for me. When Coach Rodriguez stepped down and we had all, all of these resumes coming in, we had over 90 resumes. And I actually had set the kids down and I said, what are you looking for in a coach? And one of the things they said, uh, Largo ties. Oh, we were telling our principal, like, during the whole time, like, we need Pascal. Like, everybody just kept telling we need Pascal. You did just like this. I want you to shoot a tackle and punch through. Punch under and up. As soon as we heard that Coach Gerard retired, all of us wanted Pascal to be the coach. So, like, we were real excited. I honestly think without them giving me that stamp of approval, I wouldn't be here right now, whether it's being the first African-American man to be the head coach here at Largo High School, whether it's being only 29 years old, you know, and you had some of the other candidates that already had head coaching experience. That just lets you know the family bond that I try to push on these kids, you know. They stuck behind me when a lot of other people, you know, wanted to turn their backs. This is my office, but this is where it started with Coach Rodriguez right here. 2000. This was Coach Rodriguez's first year here at Largo, and there's this is my junior year. It's really exciting to see a guy that, that went through the program and then make it to college and then go to the NFL and then come back and and be a high school football coach. Because being a high school football coach takes a special person. It's not it's not about the money; it's about you know building kids and character. I got my sweat top on. I'm from down. I see you, man. Nah, I like being out here. Get the good? heat on. Yeah, I'm doing good. One thing I love about Marcus is, you know, even though he played in the NFL, he's always trying to get others to make it to the next level. It doesn't necessarily have to be the NFL, but uh, life in general. And that's why I was so proud that Largo uh, offered him the head coaching job. It's game night, fellas. Let's go. Bring it on out. <laughs> Two.
tempo. Fast and furious. Like I said, defense. I put it on your shoulders. We're going to kick this thing off, kick off team, get down there, hit somebody. And defense, let's stop this thing, just stop this run out the gate. This is your family right here. Nobody outside this locker room matters right now. You should look to the person next to you, and this is your family. Let's go out here and play the game like a family. Anytime anybody keeps a score and they turn that scoreboard on, we want to win. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Go get him, Petit! There we go! Jacks, everybody got that? Yes, sir. Ready? Begin. Bring it in. Take a knee. The rest of this week, we will not split up varsity and JV because varsity want to miss too many days of practice, whether it's work or whether, oh, I'm sick doing this. So you know what? Some of you young guys that's been here, you're going to get your opportunity to compete. Don't just come in here and think, oh, I'm gonna play JV this year. Earn you a spot. I don't care if it's O-line, D-line, linebacker, earn you a spot. Good. I want your head here. And run out of there. Get your head across and run them out of there. Who is this young fella right here, coach? This first one, I want you, if he says a bait left, I want you to stick it, get back up top, and then I want you to two gap. When I'm out there, I'm not in my pads, but I'm still, I'm still that player. I'm still that 17-year-old, just a lot more mature on that practice field. So when I'm talking to some of the kids, I want them to practice how I practice. Put it all out there. Hey, this high school, wherever he look, he going. You ain't got Peyton Manning over there that's going to look this way and then come back on the other side of the field. He takes the job very serious. He doesn't favor anybody. Uh, he's an all-around coach. He coaches everybody, doesn't just leave the, the young guys alone. And he, make, he tries to make it fun for everybody. Go! Go! He is one of those, those individuals that you want a high school athlete to have him as a, their role model. But when you can reach out and you've been there and you can go into the neighborhoods and say, this is where I grew up, this is where you know I went to school, and this is what I turned out to be. Coming from a community like the Ridgecrest community, I've seen a lot and been through a lot. So, you know, I can talk about the highs and I can talk about the lows. Coming up, this is 119th Street. If you ask anybody from the community, that's, that's what they say. Oh, I'm from Ridgecrest or, or 119. Right here is the handy corner, the corner store. You know, and that's basically where a lot of people hang out. Some good, some bad. This is my community, so, you know, everything that goes around here isn't positive. You know, and I'm trying to be that positive figure, you know. You know, he came from that community, and, and uh, he, uh, He's, they, you know, that community struggles quite a bit. Um, and he's one of those guys that, that can show and tell the other kids, you know, look here, I came out of this community, look at what you can do. When I was growing up, the drug dealers are the people you looked up to because they had the money, they had the cars. But then I tried to change the game. 
first thing I got when I got into the NFL, I got me a car. I got me an 87 Caprice, box Chevy, rims, loud music. How'd I get out at the store? Who is that? Oh, that's Marcus. Yeah, you don't have to sell drugs to have money. Go to school, get your education. And now it's like, yeah, okay, that's cool now. Talks us every day about doing the right things in the street, outside of football and in the classroom, and also on the football field. Very important, because he made it. He knows what it takes. So you got to listen to him. Hey, I got a few tools in the toolbox. I, I did this thing for a living now. A lot of people around Largo have great talent, but took the wrong path. The battle is not on these football fields. The battle is in the community, keeping those younger kids on the right track so they can come here and be a part of this. You hear countywide um, the notion of Lar Ghetto. You know, it's ghetto, the people that you know, but that's not it. Um, and I think the new school will bring that different, you know, mentality. Um, Mr. Finkbeiner is, you know, an excellent principal in the things that he believes in. Um, it's great. I was told by a uh, city council person that this will be the most important construction in this city for the next 50 years. So, yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure to make this the, the, the finest high school in the state of Florida and in the United States. I'm going to tell you the secret. Uh, Lar Largo is a, is a great school. and. The thing that I realize when I look back now, it's all about using your resources and utilizing those people, you know, to get to where you want to be. The tradition Coach Rodriguez started, you know, and continued the last 15 years, and then I hope to come in here and, and continue his tradition, keep it going, and then that'll all benefit the community. You still got three minutes. Take a seat. Come on, come on. Don't wait, go. Our fourth and goal on the on the inch line. Basically living a fairy tale right now. Now I just need to stack some wins to go along with it so I can be here um, for the next 20 to 30 years and, and then retire as the head coach of Largo High School. Who are we? Largo! Who are we? Largo! Who are we? Largo! What we do? What we do? What we do? Who? 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 Coming up! Coming up! Coming up! Break down! Hit! 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 Hit